All right, let's talk about mileage deductions. Mileage is probably one of my favorite business deductions because it's a non-cash deduction or non-cash expense. So the way this works is you've got two options when it comes to managing your vehicles. And again, I'm not an accountant. Take all my financial advice with a grain of salt and talk to someone who has uh, fancy letters after their name. But there's basically two ways to manage your um, business expenses. One, or for your, for your vehicle, one is to actually have a separate vehicle and track everything religiously for that. Or even using your personal vehicle, you can track your gas spent, um, your insurance, any cost of repairs, um, oil changes, etc. You can add that all together, track all of your mileage, and then track your business miles. And let's say you used it for 20 per 20% of your miles were business miles. You could take your actual expenses and multiply it by 20% and come up with a sort of uh, dollar deduction that you could apply against your vehicle. That's a lot of work. An easier way to do it, and one I really like, is you get to track your mileage. So I just we just have one car in our family. We, uh, when we go out sourcing, we track the mileage and you can do it just with a pen and paper. You can set up a spreadsheet like this. I use Mile IQ, so it's always running on my phone. It's always tracking where I go. Um, it's, a, it's a great app. It, you, it does cost a little bit of money, but it helps me track a lot more miles than I would ever remember to do. I'm not super de detail oriented. That's why I rely on spreadsheets. Um, this is a great plug for Mile IQ. I'll put a link down um, to this to the software as well i think you can get like 20 percent off or at least a little bit of a discount if you sign up with my link and you'd be helping me out a little bit as well so thanks in advance um, but i love my iq it's tracking in the backgrounds and the way mileage deductions work is the irs sets a rate every year we're in 2017 so the rate actually went down just a little bit from 2016 so it's 53 and a half cents a mile now what this means is if you do a hundred mile sourcing trip you drive 50 miles to a library 50 miles back that's obviously business purposes, so you get to deduct those mileage, or that mileage. Now what happens is you don't have to then figure out, all right, how much gas did I actually spend? What are my repairs? What's the portion of it? The IRS just says, hey, the standard deduction for business mileage, 53 and a half cents. So if it's a business purpose and you're tracking that, which again, you can just do with your odometer, pen and paper, or you can use software like Mile IQ, and there's some other apps out there as well. Um, what you can do then is say 100 miles times 53 and a half, we get to actually deduct $53.50. Now, if you've got a, a car with good mileage, or even if you drive a pickup truck and get 12 miles to the gallon, um, let's just use 25 miles per gallon as an example. You drive 100 miles at 25 miles per gallon. Uh, if you do the math, that's four gallons of gas. Now, four gallons of gas, depending on where you live right now, it's a little over $2 a gallon. It's going to cost you $8. Now, there's also some wear and tear on your car. That's what the mileage rate factors in. But pure cost out of pocket is $8. The IRS lets you deduct $53. So if your mind starts spinning a little bit and you're going, wait a minute, if I drive a lot of miles for work, I can actually deduct a lot and pay taxes on less of my income. That's the right way to think about this. And that's why I love mileage deductions. Now, at some point, the IRS does know what they're doing. They are technically factoring in the cost of insurance, wear and tear, repairs, et cetera, on your car. So you're not like really getting one by on them, but it is a nice way, again, a non-cash deduction that helps you lower what you're gonna pay in taxes. Now what I do, you can come in here and actually record every single drive, just put the date, put the miles driven, and then do you know whatever the purpose is. And what it does is the spreadsheet then takes your miles times the deduction rate in the given year that's here and actually spits out the mileage value here. So you don't need to do anything in the blue. You just need to update these rates. So in 2018, you can Google IRS standard deduction for business mileage, and it should be somewhere around 50 to 55 cents. You can plug that in there. Um, if you want to track individual drives, you could say 4117, for example. Let's say I drove 18.3 miles to go pick up books or I just, you know, supplies from... Home Depot, whatever you want to say. Again, the IRS just requires a log. Uh, so you can put that in there. Mile IQ gives me a log, so I just throw the mileage in at the end of each year. And again, it spits out the actual value. Now, where does this go? Good question. Your mileage is going to flow through to the income statement, and it'll show you the mileage or the dollar deduction based on the dates that you've plugged in at the top. Um, it'll also go on the side-by-side -side income statement as well. So that's it for mileage. Again, a very simple sheet. You can use this as your log if you'd like. Or if you do use software, you might want to come back every quarter and just plug in the mileage from that quarter and save out the, the log elsewhere.